everybody, my name is Caroline Raven and welcome back to my channel. This week I will be reviewing another deck that was sent to me by Murphy. So this week I am reviewing both the truth playing cards and the lies playing cards and they look like this. So big shout out to them for being part of this giveaway and for being, yes, you know, awesome. We're gonna start with the lies one. It looks like this. Let's see if we can get this in focus. So let's take a look. On the back, it seems, it says lies. And the front is like this. So the flap goes this way. There is something embossed here. The first casual truth, is that what it says? It's really hard to tell because it's not that, you see that, it's nearly invisible. On the flap, it says Murphy's Magic here. And we also have it back here. And it also says quality playing cards. Very interesting way to open the box like this instead. Oh. So far, nothing on where these were printed. The first card that pops out is this. This is the back design of the cards, and we have it as a blank card. Next one is a double backer. So, so far, this deck is very good for magic. We have two jokers. They look like this. So down here, it says nothing is real on both of them. It kind of looks like a devil that has a mask on. He's taking it off. Okay, so I just glanced through the cards, and they are super modified, all of them. Let's go with the Ace of spades first. This complements the back design a lot. I really like that, how they bring back the swirly things in here. So you see here how the back design kind of goes together with the ace like this. And it also says lies, nothing is real. So I'm guessing that's like a theme for the entire thing. You know, it's called lies. So I'm guessing it's going to be truth on the other one. All right, so let's do the court cards. These are the spades. You see here how they changed the yellow into something that is a little goldenish. They changed the face here, has a mustache. In a way, it kind of looks like she has double eyebrows. Not sure I'm a fan of that, to be honest. Here we have the diamonds. We also see the mustache here, comes back. They complement each other very nicely, all of these. I am not sure who they used for inspiration for the girl's eyebrows. Here we also have a mustache on the clubs. And here we mixed it up a little. We have the Jack having the mustache here and no one on the King. So let's go through how they modified the suit. We have the spades that looks like this. Uh, not sure I like these. The diamonds looking like this. This I think is good though. This is uh, not too much. The hearts, not a big fan. I think that they could have done a better job. And we have the clubs that looks like this. They all complement the back design. For me, this wasn't super impressive or anything, but let's see how the cards feel. So far so good. I'm guessing these are... Still have no idea because I haven't seen any information about these. You see here, they're quite hard. Th they might be expert actually. They're really soft at the edges, which I really like. Hmm. Oh, I'm not loving this deck, unfortunately. The paper stock is really smooth and easy to use. The card itself is really thick in a way. It's really... kind of feels like a plastic card. They fan great. Look amazing. Look here. Uh, something that I don't like about the fan is that whenever we fan it like this, I'm not quite sure I like the spacing here with the whites. I don't think that's awesome. So that was a lie. Let's go with the truth. Trying to open this baby up. Really? Ugh. I think it says lies something. I'm not quite sure. You see that here. It's... Did you see how the lights just changed? I did what you guys told me. I double checked so that the... The ISO is not like auto or anything because everything is like being manually adjusted right now. So why does this still happen? All right, so this is the back of the cards. It says the truth here and we have on the top, we have the same one. I'm going to show you these together so you can see. So they are slightly different just from the box. I really like the darker one more and we see here on the front, it has a different design than the lies. So they are a little different, but the sides are in fact the same and also the flap is the same. This box also feels better than this one. This one is very uh, soft and it feels like one of those cheaper paper stocks, while this one has like a matte finish to it, which is uh, preferable for my taste. These are not as easy to take out of the box. For some reason, it kind of feels like it's stuck in there. What? Oh, it is stuck in there. This is not great. The cards are glued to the box. I'm guessing that they had the box like glued before they put the cards in. Murphy's was kind enough to send more of these cards to me. So I am gonna ship out another one since this one is, you know, not awesome anymore. So we have a blank face and we have the back design. The back design looks like this. 
this one is much better than the other one. We have more detail coming out here. In the middle here, we have owl thing. It also has color here, like the LT. I'm guessing that's for lie and truth. And we have a double backer. We have two jokers. Down here on the bottom, it says there is no beauty in truth. There's like a message in here. I'm not really sure what it says because there's so many letters and so many words. But I like these. These look really good. All right, the Ace of Spades looks like this. We have the truth in the middle. It actually has a silver tone to it. And then again with the court cards. This time they went a little further and also changed the clothes into being blue instead. But we do have the mustache still. We also have the perfect eyebrows. Same thing here on the heart. And also, as you can see here, they changed the colors on hearts and diamonds. They changed it into blue. Mm, not a big fan. Here we have the clubs and here the diamonds. All right, so let's go through them side by side. This is how they changed them. They do look the same as the one in the other pack. When they change the colors, for me, it doesn't feel great. Let's try them. Uh, same paper stock. I think these are experts. Might be legend. Nah, these are experts. Hop, oh, there we go. You see here? It's like impossible to get that to be good. But they are so hard. Like the spring is insanely rough. Something that I like about these cards is the fact that they, when you're packet cutting, it feels like they're kind of sticking together. Oh, I look so Italian. They're kind of sticking together, they're like pizza. So that I really like how they stick together as packets because it makes so much easier when you're like trying to learn new shit. So these cards are probably perfect if you're practicing the packet cutting. If you like the cards when everything is modified, this is definitely for you. I'm not quite sure if I understood how these decks come together. And maybe that is because I don't see what is written on the front of the cards, you know, the um, embossing thing. Another thing that I did not mention is the fact that they also changed the numbers into another font. Do you see that? This font is a little more uh, playful, I think, than the other ones that we are used to. These cards, they have a weird finish where they kind of don't have that fluency to them, you know, how you kind of want the deck to be able to right out of the box, be able to do a good fan. But this black one is way more satisfying than, uh, than the white one. So yeah, so that those are my thoughts on this deck. I Well, these decks, there are two of them this time. So if you want to win the truth and lies, because it's going to be a bundle, all you have to do is comment something in the video that you liked about this video. And so the giveaway is going to be a 24-hour giveaway. So it's going to be ending March 2nd at 7 p.m. Viking time. And next week is going to be number 10 of this giveaway series. And I have actually been talking to Lorenzo, who is my favorite card designer in this world, because, well, you know, he made round playing cards into the most amazing thing ever. So next week we are doing a very special giveaway where I will be reviewing the House of the Rising Spade, and that is so amazing. So I'm really excited for next week as well. Hope you guys have a magical weekend, and I will talk to you guys soon. Good luck on the contest, and uh, yeah, that was it for this week. Bye!